So, of course, I'm gonna. I just tried it for like, I don't know. I just tried it, uh, like the first mission, just to see what it's like. I watched the whole game back when I had a shit ass PC when it just came out. But now I don't even quite remember all of it. So it's gonna be somewhat new. I just wanna get through it before I before I uh, get Dying Light 2. Because I'm gonna do that as well. It looks amazing. So I just gotta get through it. You pinch him. You're scared. Not scared, and pinch him! He blinked! What? He blinked again! What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! Isn't there like a whole thing where I just get. where I enter through a chopper or some shit? And it like crashes or something? Or am I misremembering? The film grain is good. Hans free. Alien zombies from Mars closer than you think. I can't sprint. You sleep for three days like a dead man, then scare children? Off to a great start, dirty one. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss is leaving. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Excuse me? Your number. You're the thirty-first impacted. I'm the eighteenth. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Okay. Let me fucking droop the child. Okay. Guess not. I'm being bad because of this guy. Quiet. Oh my God! It's fucking Lee Sin. Now he's gonna get a meal like this. What's up, boys? Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. Upstairs. We're just getting picked off. The game still looks pretty good, actually, for how old it is. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Gotta be polite. Jade, the scorpion. Aldemir. Wait a minute. Meet the free time kickboxing world champion. Haran King's Hall, 3rd May 2014. What? Oh, here. Yeah. Alright. Hey, I'm looking for Why did they blur the background? Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... you wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. You could, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. 
Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. Well, can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antisin meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with I actually like bullshit. the accent. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Rahim. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Brecken. Okay, okay. I need the radio. Lazy. Little shit. <laughs> I need the radio to like talk to my team, I guess. Is is that what it is? Like the guys that dropped me off. But what did he say? What did he say? Try guessing. Shit, I I, I don't know. That he loves women with brains or something? Man, you are a genius. <sighs> Hardly. Okay, that's a shit ass joke. So, dude, your sandal broke. Oh, my God, that's uh, it could be worse. I guess you're not meant to look that far. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. It's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? There's not a baby there. Oh. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader. Oh, yet. so I'm undercover. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisem ASAP. Help! Help! You? Help! Somebody! What the hell? Okay. I can't see shit. Piece of fucking shit. Fuck you. I. I cut my arm, getting away from him. No oh God, you had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was, that was my brother. I came down to see him and. Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Alright. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some Goss! Oh, and alcohol. 
combine them. I'll go that will stop the bleeding. Please hurry. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Now. I never quite understood why people are so attached. I guess it's your family. But if it's a fucking zombie, like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Let it, let it kill you? Like, like, no offense, but I would just fucking yeet my family if they were zombies. Like, come on. Can't be sentimental about that shit. They're gone. Summers might be better off. Lost. But yeah, it's... I don't know. I find it dumb. It's, it's not like the, the cliche. Some vodka. Find. <laughs> Let's see what shot. else is in here. Nokia. Let's go around. There might be some more goodies. Okay. far down Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes an alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Now this is as far as I got in my own playthrough before I started well, recording and shit. I mean, after talking to Rahim, that's when I stopped. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you could do that. For some reason, my allergies are fucking me absolutely. Even though it's it's like winter, should that should be during like spring and stuff? When all the like flowers are blooming and shit like that. Are they alive or not? All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous. You know that. Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges. Really? What? Explosives? Oh, never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah. Well, hopefully you has time to you put on, like, eyeshadow during fucking uh, zombie apocalypse. No and blush weapon. too? Hell yeah. I'm pretty sure she's the one from the poster that, like, wrote the championship thing. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. 
Interesting. Ah, here. So she's like a world championship boxer. How well does that translate to the kicking zombie ass? Where do I change? This is a player stash. You can change clothes here as well as leave any items for storage. As your survivor rank increases, you'll get access to the outfits. Alright. <laughs> Alien wear. Tin cad. Jesus. Bjorn. The raider of Haran. Bjorn the warrior. See the action. GameStop racing team. Run veteran. No, this is this is like a fucking WWE type of shit. Nvidia. Fuck. Fuck that shit. Uh. Razor. Is there any good ones? Like, come on. <laughs> Unturned. Jesus, this game went downhill. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's the best one. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. To the it's gym. The floor. Just a couple flights up. Got the Terminator run on me. That's it? No, more up. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? <coughs> Holy shit. Press and hold space to jump and grab the ledge you're looking at. Remember to look at the edge you want to grab. You can perform this action while standing, walking, at or running. Man, I just have all the sneezes. Crane on a crane, let go. I can How did he get all the way up there? Welcome to our <coughs> first things first. Oof. You've got to learn Sorry. how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself! Oh, fuck yeah, suicide. Don't be a I mean... I do not endorse Come such on, things. you can't be serious! Watch this. <laughs> Raheem! My leg. Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! I was just fucking with you. Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Not at this height. Get your ass down here. Christ on a crutch. 
Jesus, save me. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. What if one of these? To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. What if one, one of these bags has like some fucking, I don't know, some metal pipes or some shit, and you just fucking bust your ass on it, like, going 40 kilometers an hour? That could be pretty fucking nasty. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low narrow passages. Can I, can I slide? No. Can I can I somehow change this? It's to, it's it's a toggle run for some reason. Yeah, fuck that. For a noob. My favorite ass. Oh. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for ten minutes if you can't do that. Okay, nice. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Okay. That was way too fucking close. Oh, not really. Get back to the crate. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Oh, come on. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Huh. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen or a special like trained military guy that is undercover. But no way that could be the truth, you know? No way. That, that's absurd. What's oh no. What's Fuck. To me? Fuck. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Talk to me. What's going on? This is the worst Something place for this. Went wrong. Oh my god. Raheem, oh my god. What just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Uh, oh yes, having a seizure while fucking 200 meters off the ground. That's. That's less than ideal. See objectives. How do I get down? Oh, here. Ah. Trash piles, awnings, cars, and even enemies less than impact. Uh, no. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Seizures reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. She'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. I forget, is there armor in this game? Well, I guess I should see at the quartermaster, probably.
Wait, is that the guy that was... Oh. Oh, he's downstairs. I mean, it makes sense. That's the safest place. Right. Unless Raiders come. Actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. We've come to a time where this game made the quotes during the loading screen so that, you know, you didn't feel the loading. But we've come to a time where we actually need to wait for the quote to end because we already loaded, like, instantly. That, that, that's something to think about. Where the fuck is he? Or what are those symbols? Oh, you're the new scout. This guy looks like one of those... Uh, never mind. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. I get a oh, bad frame. Well, Let's go. Around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antisim. By which I mean the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though. And you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Okay, so side quests. Favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> He. Oh, never mind. Uh. Oh. Why did he give me a bed frame if he's gonna give me a branch as well? That doesn't make sense. Sure. So where do I find those people that need help? First of all, let me actually... Okay. I'm guessing there's a hotkey for that. Wait, how's it lower? Oh. This is the entrance, not the basement. Going outside, yeah? Yes, sir. What? Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Oh god. The sun it burns. Is that because I had a seizure? Or because I was downstairs too okay, long? No. Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attractive. Fuckers. Holy shit, the fire effect is fucking amazing. Just look at that. I really wish I didn't have to pause due to all my fucking sneezes and shit. Probably losing a good chunk of people because of that. Oh, can you fucking die already? Okay, 
at least that are coming from behind. Stop them all. Fuck off. Okay. Let's see what they got. Cigarettes. Six bucks. More cigarettes. Oh, alcohol. That's actually good. Oh, search their titties. Wait, are they eating each other? Parakeet and some gear. Oh god. Sixty bucks? Ow, 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 coffee. I might have, I might have, might have gone overkill on that one. Why is it so fucking fun? Okay, that's enough. Let me actually go do my objective. something. Oh, he's o he's over here. Jeez. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. Hector, hello. Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Ah, uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antism. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antism postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it okay, out? Okay, so we can make it, Kevin's actually. Help? Yes, I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city hoping some of the infected would eat them, so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Can I help him? Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zara's truck. He's got the first real job for you. 
So much for meeting the boss. Hold on, let me see those. Yeah, skills points to spend. Please select one of the skill trees to spend your points. Oh. It's not like you choose, it's like you level up but you level it up by doing different shit. Okay, I can I can get behind that. The survivor ranks give the survivor rank gives you access to supporting abilities, blueprints and gadgets to increase your survivor rank, complete quests, help other survivors and participate in challenges. The higher your rank, the better the equipment offered by shops. Okay. Learn how to craft the most basic things needed for the lockpicks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars, and molotovs. Place your opponents directly to increase your power level and gain during combat, kill your enemies creatively, and use skills from the power tree. Learn how to attack with great precision. Each strike with a blunt weapon to enemy's head has a chance to stun. Spike, I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear, and such. The other kind is filled with antisem. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antison keep getting raided by Ryze's thugs, and without Antison, we're basically screwed. Ryze and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antison drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now. Which I have. But Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. But just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Okay, so Brecken is going out. Grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. How do I toss them? How do I toss the Moloch the fucking firecrackers? Okay, I'm glad they didn't show me that. Uh, keybinds. FB. Use equipment, middle mouse. So it's middle mouse to toss it, I guess. You know, I've seen what happens at night. Just about cars, furniture, and even crafters and crafting components. So the environment for huge locked chests left by other survivors, they are usually placed on rooftops beyond the reach of zombies, including weapons and all valuable things. Search body, okay. Close. I've seen what happens at night. I know, I know, I know what comes out. But I have a strong feeling it's way more scary when you actually have to play. <laughs> Shit, he took his hat off. Hold on, let me... Right. Okay, first, the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. Okay. Um, 
outside, working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, I'll run outside to secure one of our safe houses for Frankenfish. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Namar, surrounded by zombies. We've got a hell All right, I'm on it. Fucking die. How do I get repair kits though? Can I run infinitely? Because I don't have stamina for my arms, but oh yeah, I do. What the fuck? Okay, I think this is the place. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. It's only too fucking infected. This is, this is horrible how bad these people are. <laughs> these people are fucking horrible. Oh, I think they died. I think it's too late for this guy. Okay, it's done. Fuck. Okay. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Shit sucks. How did he turn though? Did he get. No, there's no way he. From for biting though, then I, I would have turned as well. Ah oh, shit. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. Hold on. Let, let me check inside first. Do I have a flashlight? I should have a flashlight button. I think at least. Oh god. Okay, how do I go? Uh, to pick a lock move the pin with middle mouse, or just mouse, I don't, I don't know which one, and rotate the screwdriver with A. To turn the lock if the pin begins to vibrate, it might break, don't force it. Ah, oh, fuck me. I just broke it. Blueprints. So many fucking blueprints. And I do not have metal parts. Oh, isn't that great? Does that count? It's spring down the way. When you take someone down, we send a message, you're not worth a bullet, or when you're out of bullets. Yeah, I don't have it. I should be- I should have a way to favorite craft, though. Tronics. Oh, 
lock pick. I do not have. I need to get even higher. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. I think they would just burn the files or something. Jade, it's done. Seems like it. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane. Thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task in orbit extract. There's another car close by. Got it. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I won't use that fucking table light. Oh, whoops. What can I dismantle this into, though? Oh, fuck yeah. Hold up. I can actually lock pick the lock now. Please, for fuck's sake. I crafted three locks. Oh fuck. Three lock picks. Where Okay. Got one. Ooh, a good ass gas pipe. It's fucking pretty too. Let's get the one up here as well. Oh, whoa. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Immediate. A absolute fucking lad. Water pipe, coffee. Okay. Okay. Actually, okay. No, let's. Asgard's Wall of Fire. Mason Medieval Shield. Okay, interesting. I can switch weapons with tab. Okay, for now I'll use the shit ass one. Okay. Okay, hold on. Fuck me. 